It's great to be here. It's great to get out of, get out of town on cut day. I'm, I, 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 that, that is, that is true. Day. That is that is true, but it is Florida compared to New York City. I mean, the weather there is considerably nicer, is it not? Beautiful day here, though. Yeah, Beautiful day here. It's all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Coach, you, you know where we're going to go right away. That would <laughs> be one Tom Brady. Now, obviously, we saw him post-game from that preseason, and he just he looked gaunt, frankly, and he seemed a bit defeated. Are you concerned about Tom at all? No, none whatsoever. I mean, watching him at practice every day, he's throwing the ball better than he has in like 10 years. And uh, when he's on the practice field, the energy level in the whole building goes up. So mm -hmm. not worried about Tom. That's one guy you don't have to worry about. I'm glad you said that, Coach, because even though I'm far from the football aficionado that you and others are, I'm like, excuse me, this is a seven-time champion, and we are literally worried about him during preseason. I think it's insulting that people were even bringing that up, to be honest with you. Not her, of course, but the people that was on the phone on the air yesterday. Having said all of that, sir, what are your expectations? I mean, I know that you're still with the team. I get all of that. But I'm not talking about hope. I'm talking about expectation. You got issues with your offensive line. Chris Godwin's coming back after he had a nasty injury. Rob Gronkowski swears that he's staying retired. I, I want to know what are your expectations for these Tampa Bay Buccaneers this season? First and foremost, we got to win our division. Okay. And uh, mm. then it's get in the tournament and go from there. But uh, this is a, probably the best roster we've had since I've been there. Mm. You, really? You no feel doubt. like it's the best roster? But what about the O-line issues? The injuries. Well, we've, we've got guys that we've had now bringing along. We ro we drafted Robert Hangey for this reason, just mm -hmm. in case. We might have lost, you know, Ro Jensen in free agency, but we didn't. And, uh, you know, Ryan, he'll get back sooner or later. But I feel very, very solid with the offensive line. That's not going to be an issue. Plus, Tom knows how to handle a young offensive line. All right, he's not going to stand back there and hold the ball very long. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the talent on the roster from top to bottom is, is outstanding. What was the issue with the defense last year? Injuries. We didn't play our starting secondary from the first half of Dallas until the Super Bowl, mm. until we had all four starters back. Mm -hmm. And we were rolodexing, you know, guys coming in left and right and trying to play in the secondary. I thought mm -hmm. Todd did a masterful job uh, of winning 13 games with what he had to play with on defense last year. How nervous are you about the New Orleans Saints? I'm looking at that defense. They are real. I'm looking at them right now. I'm looking at Michael Thomas returning. Alvin Kamara is still there. Alave out of Ohio State is there. They've got some weapons. I've got questions about Jameis Winston, but they still have some weapons. How nervous does the New Orleans Saints make the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I don't know if it's nerve, but a lot of respect. A lot of respect. They beat us twice last year. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so it's, uh, it's always a battle. Mm -hmm. It's an excellent football team. Hell of an organization. And um, you gotta be, you got to have your big boy pads on when you play the, mm -hmm. when the Saints. Do, can I ask good, one quick? Good, yeah. please. Uh, obviously, Gronk's not going to be there right now, and, and that's what he said. Do you think there's a world where he could possibly return if if the Bucks are making a run? I don't think so. Okay. I, I think Robbie's very content where he's at right now, and uh, and I'm happy for him. Mm -hmm. Well, you got Cameron Brady. I mean, that's not bad. The brother's been there. He's familiar with the system. I think Tom Brady's going to have some faith in him, so I'm not really I'm not really worried about that. But I guess I want to get back to Tom Brady in this regard. I mean, have you investigated what the hell he's eating? How's he taking I mean, he's 45 years old, man. Okay, but he's approaching 45 years old. You're telling me he's throwing a football better than he has in years, okay? What is it about him? What is, it that, what, what is he doing that clearly no one else in NFL history is doing in terms of his health? I know he's won more than anybody else, but in terms of his health, what's he doing, Coach? Have you investigated that? Oh, I have. I okay, have. Talk it's, to it's, me. It's Help a, a brother out. It's amazing. TB12 method works. Blaine Gabbert's on it. He looks fantastic. I mean, I can't do it. I can't drink that much water a day. Mm -hmm. right? I'll be in the bathroom all day. Right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he just Does has Does he really this... drink a gallon of water in the morning? More than a gallon. It's body weight. And by the he has that big jug. Everybody's got the little jug. So it's just he's water. got the big jug. So it's just water in the morning. Is it's, this that much water? His weight is and it's, water. It's more more than just water. I mean, he's, he's got everything that he needs to take care of himself. I mean, he looks fantastic. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing routine. I just want to remind you, you just said Blaine Gabbert looks great. You do understand sure. you just said that on national sure. television, right? Yeah. I'm a big Blaine fan. Really? I am. And why would that be? He beat two really good teams for me in Arizona. Okay. And that's he's a talented that's guy. That's a good point. I, now, if you look back. I give credit for that. That's true. Eight head coaches. And nine coordinators his first few years. Mm. And you've got no chance. Right. How do you feel about the NFL this season? Looking at it, I'm thinking about 10 different teams that could win it all. 
That's how I viewed the NFL this particular season. How are you feeling about the NFL and where it's at in terms of the competitiveness compared to years past? Oh, I think it's better than it's ever been because of the influx of all these young quarterbacks. I mean, they're just getting better and better and more to come next year out of college. But I think the teams that are getting these young quarterbacks are doing a better job of helping them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.